got an unboxing for you guys. I ordered from Airsoft GI. I got their YouTube Bigger Wins box that they just released. So, figured I'd do an unboxing. This is my first box from Airsoft GI. It's about a week and a half to get in. So, from the time I ordered, placed my order, which was over the weekend, uh, it got here in about a week and a half. So, that's good for me. So, without further ado, here we go. A bunch of paper. <laughs> so that was anticlimactic. It's a KWA KO Originals. So, I'm like super ecstatic over the moon right now because I haven't seen many reviews on the Airsoft GI boxes. They grant wishes, right? If you put in the comments little hints and they said sometimes they'll grant your wish. So I'm like, ah, whatever. First time ordering. Let me just put in my comments that I would love something from KWA. And they delivered. This is amazing. Every once in a while, shoot your shot, man. You never know. So I got the Eve 9. And then they also gave me a Lancer Tactical Red Dot. Allen wrench, a riser, and um, a T1 style red dot. Look at that, guys. I'm calling this a win. Yes. Nice sturdy foam. The magazine. This is the one with the follower. You get a speed loader, extra little sections of Picatinny. In this little bag here, you get two quick detach sling mounts, KWA branded sticker, a card for if you need parts as well as to download your user manual. T-handle hex keys. I'm guessing the longer one is for your adjustable FPS, and this one is probably for every other. Bolt them again. KWA owner's manual. Also instructions on how to break down the whole AEG. All right, so. Here it is, the Eve 9, close up. Yeah, markings, KWA branding, unique serial. So safe, semi, full auto. Fire selector switch is polymer. You get the flat face trigger, buffer tube, metal. These are not gonna go out and flip out on you on their own. These are, I mean, listen to this snap. Uh, PTS branded. And Slide that back. You're able to flip the charging handle. There's no dust cover, it's just the, the mock bolt. There's your hop up. Now it doesn't stay up, but on this one it's super unique because this is your bolt release so you have your mag release and your bolt release and then on this side you have your mag release and your bolt release so if you want the bolt to stay back you pull on the charging handle push this up and there you go it stays locked and then when you don't want it send it forward and this hop has positive clicks I don't know if you can hear it but watch 
but I really like the design of this so far. Other bonus, it comes with this grip. Super nice, you don't have to buy a grip. Quick detach sling mounts are gonna go right here and right here or right here and right here and you're stuck on either side. Now to get to the battery, you squeeze this on both sides. There's a coiled wire, his Dean's, and you have an inline fuse. One, two, three, four, plenty of space for a battery. There is a screw, there's a Phillips head screwdriver way down in here. You take that off and then with the included hex key, you go down there and you can adjust your FPS. Clockwise, according to the manual, increases, counterclockwise decreases. So, super nice feature. If you guys got a CQB field and you need to be, you know, around the 350 range, under the 350 range, that's a, a great feature to have. And then if you wanna go outdoor, you don't need to buy two guns. You just increase the FPS to 380 and you're ready to go. So do not stick it in without pushing that down and locking it into place, okay? Because if you don't, you're gonna break the tip and then the magazine's useless. And that's so you get every BB fed through. So no more when you're reloading, you're gonna drop four or five BBs. You get every BB in. And there you go. I'm telling you this thing, this thing is, I can't wait to play with it. I got an 11-1 LiPo. It's a 900 milliamp, so it's not a huge battery. Super nice. Full auto. That's... Change the uh, charging handle. Like I said, there's a little tab, you just push it back. All I have is a little flathead screwdriver. You could probably do it with the Allen wrench that they give you. It slides right out, and you switch it to the other side. Pop it in, it locks in place. Now look, I'm on I'm ambidextrous. Man, I can't wait, seriously, to get this on the field. Hmm, look at that. But then if I go full auto, and I come back to semi, and it stopped, do you see that? First time using it, first time putting a battery in it, straight out the box. Let's go to full auto. the semi okay so here is the battery I was using it's 11.1 volt 900 mAh mAh so milliamp hour but it's a 25 C discharge so I don't know if most guns have a problem with 25C, but I'll tell you what, running that battery, the motor got a little warm and it was doing that issue where going from safe to semi, it was shooting like a burst and getting locked up. And then if you went auto, 
back to semi, it was still staying on like, it was firing auto. So I switched the battery. I have a 7.4, 1000 milliamp, but it's a 20C discharge and no issues. So safe to uh, semi. Full auto. This isn't a blowback gun, and look how much it vibrates. Like, there's some kick. Are gonna use an 11.1. Get one that's a 20C, not a 25 or a 30. Because you saw what happened when I put it on. The 7.4 I'll probably run with. I usually do 7.4s in all my guns, anyways. Um. The Space Invader needed the 11 one. So, glad I found that out here instead of on the field. But, overall, very happy. Can't complain. This is super nice. You got ambidextrous mag release on both sides. And these KWA magazines just listen to the click, ready? Now, this is easier to press than the one with your thumb. Like you really gotta push it down to let it out. That might change over time with some use, but man, overall this is super nice gun. Again, M lock so you could just loosen this up, move that foregrip a little bit we won't be able to get out to the field. Our field is, isn't like every weekend. So we won't be able to get out to the field until next weekend. We do have some game footage that I'm editing and going through right now. Uh, we took the Space Invader out. Unfortunately, my camera died when we were out on the field. But I got to tell you, the second time playing with that, amazing. I ran that 11-1. It was flawless. I mean, it was shooting lasers. Uh, it wasn't a windy day. I was using .2. And I'm telling you, I was reaching out 100, 150 feet easy. And it's a small package. I can't wait to get this KWA out. So here's a real quick size comparison between the Space Invader, the Sharp Jack, and the KWA Eval. The all great choices for CQB. The Jack 9 and the KWA Eve 9, in my opinion, are both great picks for field use as well.